Seventy percent of Earth is covered in water, and I am lucky enough to be on just a small part of this water. In a beach where I've grown up by in Bellingham, Washington, called Little Squalicum Beach. I want to tell a story about this place, this community, I have visited and enjoyed my whole life. Walking on the trail is always fun, and this time I went with my dad and my dog. Walking to the beach, it's about a half mile each of the ways. We arrived at a spot where the city is building a new park. I know right now it doesn't look very pretty, but I hope that when they're finished, it's a good and fun place for community members to gather and play by the beach, especially because at this time, the city does not allow people to use the main part of the beach, the water. It is very contaminated and it's not safe. Once you pass under the train tracks, you arrive at the beach. One thing Little Squalcombe Beach is known for are the amazing beach forts. This is one of the simpler forts that the kids play in, and these show community collaboration because so many people that come here work on them. There are also these more established forts that people bring netting and ropes from home, even tarp, to help build them. One of the most established forts is shown here, and rumor has it, somebody may live there. One problem this beach has is the garbage. This litter problem is taking away from the beauty of this wonderful place. People leave random things that are maybe inconvenient to pick up, so they just leave them there. One time, I saw this shipwrecked boat and then another time, there was a toilet seat that someone had just hung on a log. But people may view these things differently, as artifacts or pieces of this beach's past. People come to Little Squalcombe Beach for many reasons, and they all involve interaction with the beach. Personally, I like the art because it tells a story, and even though I may not know that story, it's one that I enjoy seeing. This beach will always be a place for living things to gather. It's a habitat, but it's also a place for adventure, and wonder. It brings people outdoors and it's a beautiful place. Even though there are problems, it's a community and I'm part of it and I'm proud to be a part of it.